Now off the bat of the title, you're probably wondering how the hell do I even have this video? My batteries died and my video never got saved. Well, during that day I did announce that I was you streaming. So, here's what I did. I record I here's what I do. I record like uh, behind the scenes of every unboxing video I do. So, like my iPhone 3G and my PS2 unboxing. Although when I canceled I on Xana, those videos got deleted. So, uh yeah, I downloaded the uh, Insignia unboxing video, which was a uh, total of 58 minutes, and I edited it to the point where my cam, my battery, my camera's battery died. I hate that thing now. I'm gonna get a Sony Webby, probably in, for my next paycheck. So, yeah, enjoy the video, and I'll be back right after I say that funny little message. Well, what do you think this could be? It's to replace that thing. This is the unboxing of my new Insignia TV. Yes, I did state in my, my previous video that I was going to get a Dynex with the DVD combo, but this was a bit cheaper, and besides, I wasn't expecting it to be small. At least it's an upgrade. So, let's get started. This, the seal has already been cut, or there's ne there never was one, so... Alright. Zoom in a little bit here. Right off the bat, we got the VGA cable. Whoa, seriously, I, I didn't even know this came with it. What else we got here? Components, batteries, might be an HDMI in here, who knows, but there are plugs definitely in here. Construction books, I do like reading these. This must be the stand. What else? The remote, it looks kind of awesome. Let's see. I don't know where else to open it from. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, it's a box. What could be in the box? Oh my god, it's Solid Snake. This is an antenna, but who needs these? No, this is the stand. I wonder what this must be like a wall now, you know? Here's the extension for the antenna. And here is the TV. There we go. I can lift this with one hand. Dynex, uh, no, Insignia TV. I chose white because it's a little bit abstract. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's odd. That's why. That's how I like things. So here's the back. From the looks of it, it's got one HDMI, VGA, headphone, S video in, composite in, component in, and these are the only outputs we have. There are two up. No, wait, this is the up, but what am I thinking? Oh, well, you see them, you do it. Wait. What? The battery died. What? It was low on battery. Fucking ass fire over it. Hopefully it's saved. The battery is. Or this is just gonna be a piss off. Fucking motherfucker! It didn't save. Fuck. Do you think we can put this all back together? After I said that line, I really did try to put the TV and all the parts and components back in the box, but that failed miserably, so I had the idea of using the uh, iToy and re-recording the whole thing, so that's where the idea of that sh whole insignia show-off came from. So, I hate my camera after that day now. I am going to get a Sony Webby. It's probably not going to be the one that looks like the flip. It's probably going to be the one that's literally a camera cord with a little LED light on it. Yeah, ever since, actually ever since I got it in uh, Christmas 2007, it has been eating up batteries like that. Although the Energizer Lithiums have been doing very well for me until this point. I, I don't know.
Ever since Adam, no offense, uh, dropped my camera and the battery case cracked, I had to put a piece of aluminum where the conductor met, where this pole met the conductor. And I think that shortened the life of the camera, so yeah. I will continue to do unboxing videos. I'll try not to do any without the Sony Webby. So yeah, until then, I'll see you all later.